Hi guys, welcome to Travel with Austin. I'm Austin. Today we are here in Moundsville, West Virginia at the West Virginia Penitentiary and we're taking a look at the new wall cell block. Now this, as the name would suggest, is the newer cell block here at the prison and it becomes very obvious when you actually see the older cell block. And today I'm just going to take you through it a bit. This is one of many areas you can see here um, during their daytime tours or a photography tour or even a paranormal event. Now as you'll see there is a lot of art on the walls here. Um, there is art all over the prison that I do believe was of course all done by the prisoners in an attempt to kind of brighten up their prison stay. And you can see that it is quite some interesting art. And in fact, my both favorite and least favorite is right over here. This clown that gives me Pennywise vibes. Now, as we walk down the cell block, it is of course going to look like many different prison cell blocks that I've shown before. We have a narrow walkway, and then we have these cells. Now that cell had a really cool 3D cross in it. Now, a lot of these cells do look like they could have been made for one person. However, as you'll see, most of them are made for two people with a bunk bed on the bottom and the top. And you can see we do still have the sink and um, toilet in them. And then down below, we have the shower area. So unlike a place like the Mansfield Reformatory, which had shower rooms and even shower cells, the showers here were just kind of plopped down on the ground floor, which offers even less privacy because anyone who is not showering can probably also see you, especially if they're on the second or third floor where they've probably got a pretty decent view. Now, as you'll see here, we can go and connect here. There is a door here in the center that leads to the area in between the cells. Now again, unlike Mansfield, this is not a walkable area where guards could go down and is purely for maintenance. In fact, I did check later on with a flashlight and there were some very rotten loose boards that someone at some point in prison history had put up to try to walk through the area. Um, but there was nothing concrete to walk through. So again, we're just going to continue exploring the cell block. Um, as you saw the stairs that I just went up a second ago, they did have slots in them, and you could see all the way to the bottom, which is one of my least favorite things to have in stairs. And again, you'll notice that these cells are very colorful. A lot of them are painted different colors, and honestly, they look pretty great still it's, it definitely seems like a nice way to make your prison stay better but you are in prison of course now as we enter kind of the central section here you'll notice that we have this weird almost triangle shaped area which as you can see there's nothing really in here now but it does have some windows to the outside to the south yard and does have the former cell controls. So you can take a look at that and how cool that is. So I imagine this is, you know, where the guard would go and control the cells. And of course, they could lock themselves in there for their own safety. Now, of course, there is the fourth floor as well. That is mostly the same. So we are going to start heading down the stairs. And as you can see, pretty much every floor is a copy of itself, just with some different artwork. Now, as we continue to walk down this way, we'll get to see the shower area up close. And again, this is literally just right out here. You can see where they did metal off the pipes, so no one could try to use a pipe against each other. But here is the shower area. 
again, it's going to leave very little to the imagination and is very small. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe because it really helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Thanks for watching.